now let's go ahead and make a copy of our 2D seed file to make our sheet model seed. So we'll paste that into our sheets folder again. We're going to rename this one to survey foot sheet seed. Let's go ahead and open it up. And then we'll go to our models dialog. We'll select our entry. In our properties panel, we're going to change this to a sheet model. Let's go ahead and give this a name. We're just going to use ANSI D for our name here. And you can go ahead and change your description if you want to, give it some more detail. We want to go ahead and change the accuracy to eight decimal places. This allows us to rescale things when we're are laying out name boundaries. And so that's why we bumped that up in the sheet model. Then we need to select our sheet size. NCD in this case. Then I'm going to grab the model name and copy that to the clipboard so that we can put that into our configuration file. So we'll open up our configuration file now and for our sheet model name configuration variable we'll go ahead and put that in NCD and then we need to put in the name of the file that we created. So we'll grab that name, put that into the clipboard, and update our configuration and save those changes. And then lastly, back to the drawing itself, if you want to make additional models for additional sheet sizes, this would be a good time to do this. Maybe take advantage of your description field here. But if I wanted to, for example, set up another sheet model size of ANSI B for 11 by 17, I can do that just simply go in and change the sheet size. So we'll switch that. And we'll go ahead and switch back to our default model that our configuration points to.